The first day that we were on Dos Rios, uh, we were educating the students. Uh, we were talking about uh, cuts and what to do with, if there were cuts. That's when we got into uh, making the splints. And then there was some also education on uh, if a person were to choke, like the Heimlich maneuver. And while we were sitting there educating the students and demonstrating and talking about it, one of the students opened up and was talking in third person about a, a friend that she had that she knew uh, was having headaches and then would just fall out on the floor. And this young student asked a whole lot of questions and as she continued to ask, we found out it was her. And after finding out that information, it was the very next day when we went returned back to the school and um, as we had given information and talked a little bit about it, this student uh, did uh, have an event there on campus, at which time our students were there uh, delivering first aid kits. And when just going in and delivering them, uh, the nursing students saw firsthand of the need there and were first responders to help in uh, comforting this young individual who definitely needed to seek more medical attention. I'm Jamie Kingsley. I'm from Flint, Texas, and I'm a foreign language student at Tyler Junior College. Well, I knew it was going to be pretty rural, so it didn't come as like too much of a shock to me. Um, <laughs> it was kind of different, you know, having no water, no food source there really available. You just kind of had to eat what came from the land. So you learned to like things that maybe you never did before because that's all you had to eat. And um, you wash all the important things and that's it. <laughs> and the weather and the, that was definitely a task because you were always wet <laughs> and it was always humid. So you, we were going through lots of clothes. I hope that we can bring more things to them. You know, help with the plumbing and the resources that they have down there, with like medical. Um, I know one girl who we worked with at the, the high school had epilepsy and her meds were not working because they were out of date and they didn't have as much potency, I guess, in them anymore. So I wish we could just bring more resources to them. Even, you know, the girl with the epilepsy, we were able to teach a friend who goes with her every day, you know, what she needs to do if her she used to pass out or, you know, she has a seizure and what not to do and how to check her pulse and her breathing. So, yes, definitely. And CPR classes would be good for them. Engineering would be great for them. The reforestation project, we all went up and we had to replant trees. Basically, they're building this power line through the forest where they're going to have to cut down trees. Well, any tree that they cut down has to be replaced with at least five trees. If they are to knock down an endangered species, then they replace them with ten trees. And um, it's trees that basically will come up, they will build a canopy, which will allow vegetation to grow around them. And these trees will actually end up being destroyed by ants so that when the new vegetation begins to grow, that will flourish and the trees, those trees will basically come down and new ones will be plate, replaced without anybody's help. Just the accomplishment and the, the warm fuzzy feeling, I guess, that you get when you go down there and you help these people, that's what really got me. I never expected that to happen, but just the great feeling of accomplishment that I made a difference in somebody's life and it's going to help them in the future, it's worthwhile. I see that our students can grow in a way that they may not be able to when they stay in their known environment. Going out to a community that had limited resources, that had no hardwood floors, no running water, and seeing that they were very happy and uh, living life to their fullest, what they know of as their fullest. It was uh, an event 
of a lifetime to be able to see how they were able to have happiness, have uh, love, and also want to learn in their environment.